FBI. Services. This is Linda. Hi, Linda. My name is William Cody, and um, about three weeks to a month ago, I located a firearm and a, a section of bed sheet over in Moffitt, Colorado, near the, near the Suzanne Morphew Remains site. And I was just kind of doing a follow up and calling back to see if there's any info I could get on, or if it's nothing, or if it's something, or. Okay. Did you turn? Who did you turn it into? Uh, the Saguach County Sheriff came out and collected the items. It was a 22 okay. revolver. <clears throat> uh -huh. Yeah, a 22 revolver and a section of bed sheet that appeared to have blood stained on it. Um, but you turned it into Saguach County. So, and yeah, and Saguach County okay. said, yeah, that y'all had came and collected it. And that I don't know for sure, but have you checked with the Saguach County? Office? Yeah, you know, it's kind of, I'm just kind of getting the run around back and forth on, um, you know, they tell me to call well, you. Tell you if, we, if we did get it, it does take quite a while for us to get everything processed on it. Okay. So you, that was a few weeks ago. So it, I can tell you it's going to be very far out unless they put a rush on it and prioritize it, which I don't know if that's going to happen. But Okay, I just, I've been losing sleep on pins and needles thinking it could be a key piece of the evidence no, of Suzanne's case, no, you know. <laughs> Yes. We don't want that. And I just want to say I have a YouTube channel, uh, Cold Case Calls, and I have a search team, and that's kind of what I do is look, re-look at cold cases. I just want to, you know, say thanks for what you guys did on finding them. That was a great job. And uh, I just try to help and assist with uh, organizations, so I appreciate y'all. Okay. And you're who? My name is William Cody, and the name of my YouTube channel is Cold Case Cause. And you can actually see Cause. the... Oh, I wrote it down. I'm yeah, see... Yeah, C A U S E, like the cause of a cold case. Oh, oh okay. I'll yeah. Check it out. Yeah, and you can call me back. I don't know if you can see my number, but I mean, I would love to have any info. Yeah, all it says is drank. Well, let's see. It says 970749. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, you know, I heard I had heard that there was a 22 caliber live round found near Suzanne's bed, and then that pistol that I found was a 22. So, man, I've just been praying this whole time. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thanks for your time. Sorry okay. to bother. Thanks. No, you're fine. Anytime. All right, give me a call back if you need anything. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. So there you have it, guys. Words from a uh, actual CBI agent. Um, they always say, "Call Saguach County or call us back, or we'll call you back." That's what they always say. I almost just slipped and busted in that mud. Um, but just want to let you know that's what they tell me, and uh, it's and I watch. I'll call Saguach County, and they'll tell me that I need to contact CBI. But you know, I feel like if it was nothing, they would say. Hey, it's nothing. Quit leaving, it, you know, leave us alone. Quit bothering us. Um, so, but I just wanted to call and show you all this is actually what's going on. And this is the truth. And um, if you have any more questions or comments about it, but I would love if anyone else can figure anything else out. That'd be a big help too. So I hope you're having a good start of the week. It's Tuesday and uh, it's still cold out here on the Mesa, but uh, we got a big storm coming in this weekend, so I'm trying to get prepared. But I just wanted to say thanks, y'all. Give that like and subscribe. Appreciate everybody. Thanks for the kind comments, and uh, stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.